Hi everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia and I'm starting off 2022 by doing a candle making DIY. I am using this glass cutter that I got off Amazon. I will link it down below if you all also want to use it. It's really great at scoring the glass on this wine bottle, which is going to be the basis for our candle. So I placed it onto the glass cutter and slowly turned the wine bottle so that the blade was able to score the glass. Now we are moving on to setting up our glass cutting station. And to do this, I just took an old trash can that I had in one of my bathrooms and I'm filling it up with some ice cold water. And then I went ahead and moved to the sink in my garage just in case any glass were to break. I didn't want it in my house. And I also filled up a, another bucket about a quarter of the way with water. And I'm doing this because just in case the glass breaks and smashes, that water is going to break its fall and hopefully keep the glass from shattering everywhere. Now that we have got our cold water all ready to go, it is time to make some hot water. So what I did was take a pan and put it on my stove top and I did turn up the heat until it was boiling. Be really careful on this part. And once it was boiling, I turned it off the heat and let it cool down a little bit so it wasn't boiling, but it was still super hot. And then safety first, I am putting on my glass resistant gloves as well as some stylish safety glasses just in case the bottle breaks or smashes or shatters. You definitely want to protect those eyes. I know it looks pretty cool. And what you're going to do is alternate between dipping the wine bottle in the ice cold water and then pouring the super hot, almost boiling water over the score line. So I am dunking it again in the ice water for about 15 to 20 seconds, and then immediately pulling it out and pouring that super hot, almost boiling water across the score line. I recommend putting quite a bit of ice in the water. I got a better result with the more ice I put in. If you happen to have a tea kettle, this would be way easier and maybe even a little bit safer. The tea kettle would have a nice spout for you to pour over the score line. But for me, I just had to be super careful, make sure I didn't burn myself and just pour the hot, again, almost boiling, but not quite boiling water over the score line. And I have seen some people just straight dip the wine bottle into a pot of super hot or boiling water, but I just really didn't want to be placing a glass bottle that might end up shattering in any of my cooking ware that I use on a daily basis in the kitchen, just in case a little bit of glass got lost in there or left in there. It just made me a little too nervous. So I decided to just pour the hot water directly on to the wine bottle and that worked out perfectly. I did this about four or six times and then eventually you will hear the glass start to break and it can be a little startling, almost feels like a horror movie because you know that it's about to separate and break. And now our wine bottle has successfully broken into two pieces. And as you can see, the water did catch that. So we didn't have any breakage on the top half of our wine bottle. So now it is time to smooth things out a bit. So I am taking this sandpaper that I got in my glass cutting kit from Amazon. It came in there. It said it was special for glass, but I think you could just use regular sandpaper as well. And I'm just flipping upside down the beer bottle and the wine bottle and just rotating it in circles and really catching those edges just to make sure that there are no sharp pieces and that all of the edges of the broken glass are nice and sanded down, rounded so they don't hurt anyone or yourself. Again, I really recommend this glass cutting kit from Amazon. I made a couple of other wine bottle candles for practice before filming this, and they all came out really well. And I think that's because I used the Amazon glass cutting kit. Next, we need to fill up our bottles. 
So I'm doing this by taking two of these tall candles from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be melting down the wax. So what I did was take one of my medium sized pots and filled it with water. You don't want it to be boiling. You want this on medium heat. For reference, my stove has a scale of one to 10 and I had this on at six and a half and it did take two hours for it to fully melt down. So definitely give yourself some time and maybe keep your eye on the stove, watch a show, watch some YouTube as the wax melts down in these candles. And then the next step is you are going to need to fish out the wicks from inside the candle. I had on some grill mitts, which are heat resistant and made sure that I didn't burn myself. And then I used some tongs and a paper straw to fish out the wicks. Then I wrapped the wicks around some pencils that I had in my junk drawer and let the bottom of the wick hang in place. You could hot glue the wick down, but you really don't need to. Um, this method will work just fine. I started to fill up my glass bottles with the melted down wax, again, wearing my grilling gloves that are heat resistant. You'll definitely, if you're gonna be doing this, use either a pot holder, an oven mitt, something to make sure that you don't burn yourself because this wax is going to be extremely hot. So I filled each of those up using the two larger candles from the Dollar Tree, and then I ended up leaving it overnight to set. I think it would only take a couple of hours, but I just wanted it to play it a little bit safe and make sure that the wax was fully hardened and dry before I went in and cut the wicks. So as you can see, it is now fully hardened so I can go in with my pair of scissors and just trim down these wicks. I loved the way that the wine candle looked leaving the label on. I thought it was really cool and kind of a fun way if you are a wine drinker to display what you're drinking or it could even be funny if you're using a vinegar bottle or a lemonade bottle to have a cute label. I think it's kind of fun and it shows the original purpose of the bottle and how you repurposed it. But I also took this smaller bottle and I did just add on some fun decals. You could put stickers or maybe some lettering and write out your own saying but I think they look good both ways I liked being a little bit more original and creating my own label but I also think leaving the original label says something too thanks so much for watching until next time keep searching keep creating